Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to show you how to play Sea, Salt and Paper. A small card game and it's a mix of set collection but also collecting pairs of cards that you can play for both their points and their special ability. And there's also a small expansion Extra Salt that I will show you in the next video. For now, please let me show you how it's played. This game is for two to four players and you shuffle the deck and put two cards next to each other face up. The draw deck will be face down. And this game will basically play over a couple of rounds. And whenever a player has collected seven points or more, and that can be a combination of cards that he's played in front of him, as the cards that are still in his hand. If you have seven or more points, you can choose to end the round. And you can end the round in two ways. But first, let's show how to get to the seven points. When it's your turn, you can choose to either pick one card from the face-up display, or you can pick two cards from the draw pile, keep one, and discard the other to one of the two face-up decks. Maybe the other player will take this card. And when it's my turn again, I will go for the two boats. Since there is an empty spot, I have to discard my card to the empty spot and I cannot put it on top of the other card. And that is how you keep playing rounds. Either pick one card face up or two cards from the draw pile. Keep one and discard one of the others on one of the two available discard piles. Some of the cards you collect, you will keep in your hand. You will simply start collecting points by no, collecting the set. So one single card of these will score you no points. But if you collect multiple of them, they will give you more points at the end of the game for the complete set. And the colors don't matter for completing the set. You simply have to collect the symbol. So you can also try to collect the octopus. First card being worth zero points. But if you collect maybe three of them, they will be worth six points as a group. You can collect the anger symbol. There are only two cards in the deck. First card being worth zero points. But if you collect both of them, they both together will be worth five points. And you can score penguins. And there are three of them to find. So this you will keep in your hand. So your opponent doesn't know how many, how many of these cards you will have. But you can also try to score a pair of cards. If you collect two of these boats, they will be worth one point together. But they will also give you a special ability if you play the cards in front of you. So once you've drawn cards, and if you can play pairs of the same cards, you can choose to do so. So in this case, I would play two of the boat cards. The color doesn't matter, it's just about the symbol. And this will give you an extra turn, so you can do a new turn again. Drawing cards and playing pairs of cards if you have them. So now my opponents know this is worth one point, but also it gave me a special action. When you collect a pair of crabs, you can put them down and then you can choose one of the two discard piles. You can look through them and simply take one card you like and then you return the discard pile. You do not shuffle the discard pile, simply pick out the card you want. When you collect a pair of fish, you can play them. This will again be worth one point total for the pair. And this will allow you to draw the top card from the draw deck and keep it in your hand. And you can play multiple action pairs in the same round if you're able to. Finally, there's the shark. And you will have to match the shark with a swimming person. For example this one, when you play this as a pair it's worth one point, but also you can choose one opponent and steal a card from his or her hand. So the other player will shuffle his cards and you have to draw one of them and take them into your hand. Then there are some cards that will give you points for other cards. So this card is not worth any points itself, but at the end of the round it will give you one point for each card with the fish that you've played or still have in your hands. Because at the end of the round you will score all your cards. No matter if you play them or if they are still in your hand. This one will score you three extra points for each anchor card. Or one point for each card that has the boat symbol on it. Then there's one final card. Maybe the most important card of the game. And that is this one. There are four of them. Should you manage to collect all four of these mermaids in one single round. So you have all four of them in your hand. Then you've instantly won the game, not the round, the entire game is won. But if you don't get to collect all four of them, they will still score you points at the end of the round. They will score you one point for each card of the color you have the most. So if 
So if these are my cards, and my dark blue is the color I have the most, then it's four cards, so this card will be worth four points. If you have two of them, the second card will score you points for the second most color you have, one point for each card, and so on. And so the round continues till at least one player has seven points or more. In this case, these two shells together are worth two points. These two penguins together are worth three points, so I'm at five, but I've also played two pairs, so that would be seven points total, one point for each pair. So now I am able to stop the round, or I can simply continue the game if I think I'm going to score even more points. But once you have the option to stop the round, having seven or more points total, there are two ways to end the round. You can simply say, stop, we're ending the round, we score our points. And everybody else will also score the points from the cards. Those are both the cards that are played in front of them and the cards they are still in their hands. So maybe you have a pair of cards you haven't played yet. You can still count them for one point, although you did not use the special ability. And also all the cards you've collected from the set collection will now score points. Then we go to the next round and the starting player will be the player to the left of the player that ended the round. With two players you will keep continue playing until one player reaches 40 points or more at the end of the round. 35 points for three players or 30 points if you're playing with four. But there's another way to end the round and this is a kind of a gamble. Once you've collected seven or more points total you can also say last chance. In that case you still need to have seven points or more. You put down all your cars so everybody can see how many points you've scored. This also means you are safe from the shark and swimmer attack. You can only attack players that still have cards in their hands. Then all other players will get one final turn and then we're gonna compare scores. If you still win the round because you are the only one who has the most points, then you will score both the points from your cards but also you will score your color bonus and your color bonus is the same as with this mermaid card you will get one point for each card of which you have the most color so in this case i have two black cards and two yellow cards so my color bonus would be two all other players will only score their color bonus so they're gonna check which color do i have the most and each card of that is worth one point but if there's one player that has more points than you after the last chance then you have lost your bet. That means all other players will score the normal points from the cards. And since you've lost the bet, you will only score your color bonus. So in this case, I would only score two points. And that is a very fun part of this game. Do you want to stop the round once you've come to seven points or more? Or do you try to keep collecting more cards to score more points? And if you want to end the round, will you do a full stop and everybody will get points? Or will you go for a last chance giving other players one more turn to score points but if they don't beat your score you will get extra points and they will score less points and that is how you play sea salt and paper take two cards from the draw deck keep one and return the other to one of the two discard piles or you take one card from the discard pile you can start collecting sets of cards try to keep track of what other players are collecting because maybe you want to take some cards from the discard pile to prevent other players from getting it but also you can try to collect pairs of cards to score one point for the pair, but also getting a special action from that pair. And remember collecting these mermaids, if you collect all four of them, you've instantly won the game. If you have any questions about this game, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. My name is David, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.